muster an army of workers, machines, factories, ships, trains, and endless natural supplies. What do you get? A pencil. In 1958, Leonard Reed penned a classic to document the mind-boggling diversity of materials and skilled labors required for a single manufactured object. He detailed the production of a pencil, speaking in the pencil's voice. My family tree begins with a cedar of straight grain. Contemplate all the saws and trucks and rope and the countless other gear used in harvesting and carting the cedar logs to the railroad site. Think of all the persons and the numberless skills that went into the fabrication of these logging tools. The mining of ore, the making of steel and its refinement into saws, axes, motors, the growing of hemp, and bringing it through all the stages of heavy and strong rope. Reed describes railroad networks and communication systems that bring the logs to mills, and the mill work that produces thin slats. He asks, how many skills went into supplying the heat, the light and power, the belts, motors, and all the other things a mill requires? Reed includes the workers who constructed the hydro plant that supplies the mill's power trains that transport the slats, a factory that cost millions to erect and equip with brilliant machines that slit the slats and insert the lead, and the lead itself, produced by mixing graphite mined in Sri Lanka with clay from Mississippi and treating it with Mexican wax. The pencils receive six coats of lacquer and are labeled with carbon black mixed with resins. An eraser holder made of zinc and copper is attached, and black nickel rings are added. Finally, the pencil's eraser is a rubber-like product made with Indonesian rapeseed oil, Italian pumice, sulfur chloride, vulcanizing and accelerating agents, and cadmium sulfide. One pencil, millions of dollars, dozens of countries, thousands of miles. But we can add something radical that Reed never considered. What if this pencil belongs to David, who uses it for Torah classes? It helps him observe the mitzvah of Torah study. That changes everything. Divinity, generated by his mitzvah, illuminates his soul and body and elevates the pencil as well. That powerful, godly light travels back along the pencil's production route, elevating the factory, railroads, minerals, investments, skills, lives, and all that Reed so vividly described. Think about that the next time you offer charity. Light a Shabbat candle or wind tefillin around your arm. With each mitzvah act, so much of this world is connected with divinity.